Welcome back, everyone. It is Sunday sit-down time. Joining me tonight, I don't think he needs much introduction, but see for you Mizzou fans out there, Phil Pressy, thank you for joining me tonight. Tell us how you've been recently. Kind of catch us up a little bit. <laughs> well, Natalie, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. um, I've been great. Uh, my family and I, uh, my wife, Sharice, and my son, Hendrix, uh, we're transitioning uh, from playing into coaching. Mm -hmm. So it's been a great start to my career. Uh, I'm just so thankful to be able to start back here at my alma mater. Mm -hmm. You know, tell me about that decision. Obviously, it was just recently here that you decided to retire from the playing side of mm -hmm. basketball, right? So kind of take me behind that decision a little bit. I mean, ultimately, you know, I love the game of basketball. I love everything that it is brought to me. Um, but I knew I wanted to get into coaching. Um, and, you know, Coach Gates gave me this opportunity. And I trust him just like he's, give, he's trusting me. So I'm just happy to be here. And I'm going to be learning from a great coaching staff. Uh, yeah, and I'm just excited to get uh, ready to go. Was that kind of a, an emotional decision? Obviously, you know, playing basketball has been such a big part of your mm -hmm. life. Obviously, you're not done with it yet. But, you know, is that an emotional decision to decide to step off the court now? Yes, it's, it's very emotional. But I came to realize that even though I'm stepping away from playing, mm -hmm. you know, I'm able to get into coaching. I'm still around the game. It's just a different perspective. Mm -hmm. um, the game of basketball has given me so much. It's my turn to give back. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to the younger, you know, generation coming up. If you had to pinpoint maybe one of the biggest lessons that you've taken from this journey, you know, you think of high school, you think of Mizzou, you think of your time in the NBA overseas, what's the biggest lesson that you think you would take away from that that you would maybe want to impart on these kids that you're joining now? Um, Natalie, hard work wins, uh, persistence wins, dedication wins, sacrifice wins. Those are some of my core values. Uh, Coach Gates has core values that our team lives by, you know, our culture that we're building here. Uh, but those are some of my personal values that allowed me to get to where I am today, allowed me to play three years in the NBA, allowed me to go, go to Europe, allowed me to, you know, create so many lifelong friendships. So that's the, my core values. That's, that's it right there. Tell me about the de decision to come back to Mizzou. I'm sure Mizzou's always been on your mind, but was it kind of a thing when you when you think about stepping back? Is that always kind of a thing like, ooh, Mizzou might be a good option? Um, it's, it's never came across my mind that I would be where I am today. But, you know, I know the position I'm in, it's, I'm so, so, so lucky, so blessed. I just can't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. So I just want to take it one day at a time. Uh, I'm going to treat my coaching journey just like my playing journey. I really, really, really believe that how you do anything is how you do everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take my same hard work and my same work ethic that I had in, when I played into coaching. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is such a good opportunity for these kids on this team to learn from you. Obviously, one of, one mm -hmm. of the, the greatest to come through, Mizzou, you know, and... What, is, what an is, is it an opportunity for you, though? I'm sure this is a great opportunity for you kind of on the other side of that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've been where a lot of these guys are trying to go. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I wasn't always, you know, the biggest. I wasn't always the strongest. But I want the guys to know that you can make it. If I made it, you can make it. So that's what I want them to get to understand, you know. Like I said, I'm not the biggest guy. Mm -hmm. And if I can make it, you know, I know you can make it. What are your initial thoughts uh, on this team? I know you're just getting into the groove here, but you know I'm sure you've gotten to meet to them, meet them, kind of talk to them a little bit. What's your initial impressions on this? You know, it's a very new team. A lot of fans obviously don't know mm -hmm. most of the faces out there. Uh, from Coach Gates all the way down, the coaching staff down to the players, everybody is starting to buy in into the culture. I think that's the biggest, you know, key recipe into winning, winning basketball is that chemistry, you know, that, that cohesion that you need as a group to succeed. And that's not just in basketball, that's in the business world. That's here, you know, with you and your crew. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where we're at right now. What do you think is going to be the mark of, of this team maybe on the court? What do you think, you know, is Coach Gates's goal, you know, coaching staff's goal of trying to get, what, what's gonna, this team going to look like, you know? Um, unselfishness, mm -hmm. you know, toughness. You know, some of those 
key ingredients into success, you have to have those. And that's what our team is showing every day in practice. We're showing each other how to be tough. We're showing each other how to be together. Because a basketball season, there's ups and there's downs. And when you're down, you have to have togetherness. And I feel like that's what we're building right now in the preseason. When you look at Coach Gates, he, he's a guy that I'm sure if people have seen him on TV or anything, he has a very infectious personality. You know, mm -hmm. what was some of your initial impressions of Coach Gates? And kind of tell me how that went down. Did he reach out to you? You reach out to him? Or kind of how did that work? Yeah, uh, Coach Gates does a good job of tapping in and, and connecting people, mm -hmm. uh, reaching out to the alumni. And I'm very appreciative of that. It allowed me and him to connect and uh, ultimately meet. And we click right away. We have some of the same, same uh, core values, some of the, the same mindset. So I knew I could learn so much from him. And when he gave me this opportunity, you know, I had to, you know, come back. Mm -hmm. From a recruiting standpoint, he's obviously been drawing a lot of attention, you know, getting some, some good names there. What do you think it is about him that it just makes him such a good recruiter? You know, you being a player, you, you have to know mm -hmm. kind of what it takes there, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just think that he lives what, what he speaks. Mm -hmm. You know, his everyday actions, his everyday habits exemplify what he does, you know, when he goes out and speaks with other people. So I think that's just what he does. I can't speak on him personally, but mm -hmm. I just know that he lives, you know, what he speaks. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, like I kind of touched on a little bit, very new team, a lot of mm -hmm. new faces. But, you know, you're bringing some familiarity <laughs> yeah. to the bench. You know, how important do you feel like that might be for fans to kind of see some faces they may recognize? Obviously, you have Kobe Brown from last year, mm -hmm. Caleb and Ronnie. But, you know, uh, having your familiar face a little bit on the bench there, too. Yeah. Yeah. Natalie, well, that's, that's very important mm -hmm. for the fans to see some consistency. Um, and we're, our job this year is to show them uh, some consistency in winning. You know, that's our goal, that's our plan, and that's what we're preparing for. Mm -hmm. You know, I have written down here, all-time leader in assists, tied for steals. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you had such a great career here at Mizzou. W what has it kind of been like in, in the preliminary days of just stepping on the other side of that? Now, now you're on the sideline there. What has that been like in the preliminary I, days? Yeah, <laughs> I, I honestly don't know, know what to say right now. Mm -hmm. You know, some of those records that you mentioned, it still, it still hasn't hit me because of I've always been – you know, a team guy, somebody who puts the team before my, my own accolades. So I never look back and say, oh, I did, I've done this, I've done that. Um, so I haven't really th thought about that that much. I'm just so focused on this team, this group of guys that we have. Uh, they've been working so, so hard, and they've made me, you know, feel so welcome since I'm one of the new guys, even though I've been here before, mm -hmm. but coming into this, uh, this new, new team. Come back to Columbia, Mizzou rain, Arena has changed a little bit. <laughs> so oh, yeah, saw it, yeah. it? How, how's everything, you know, kind of adjusting to the new look at Mizzou Arena and kind of being back in Columbia? Yeah, it, it's changed for the better. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to be back. And everybody's been so welcoming. You know, seeing some of the fans or some of the, you know, Mizzou staff members around campus, it's been so, so nice to see. And I'm going to be very, very active in trying to get other alumni to come back. Uh, I played with uh, a guy named Ricky Paulding, mm -hmm. you know, in Oldenburg, Germany for two years. And me and him had a great time. So I'm excited to have him come back. Mm -hmm. You know, he's an alumni, and we need him back as well. What can you say, you know, if you, if you had an overall message to fans, you know, kind of getting this excitement right in Mizzou basketball, what would your message to fans be, you know, ahead of I We have a bit till the season still, but what would mm -hmm. your message be overall? Uh, just be ready for mm -hmm. some, you know, fun basketball. Uh, just get back to the, to, to the winning side and, you know, we need everybody, mm -hmm. the whole community, uh, all the students, everybody's important. You know, I feel like that's a, you know, for, for the team to win, we need everybody. So now all I can say is be ready to have some fun. Well, I know you guys uh, drew crowd, quite a crowd at Mizzou Arena when you were yes. playing, so uh, we'll, we'll get, try to get those this year, too, exactly. right? Exactly, <laughs> yes, yes, that's the plan. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, Phil, I appreciate you joining me. Welcome back to Columbia. I'm sure everyone's thinking the same thing. Welcome back. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> I appreciate you for having me. Yep, awesome. Well, for the rest of you guys, we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> 